Okay, welcome. Uh, this is a tutorial on how to install Access Runtime so that you can be able to utilize uh, the Lesson Plan app. Okay, uh, in this example, we're going to use the one for Mr. Kashiongwa that I've sent a link to, to his personal email. So as soon as you provide me with the correct email, and then I will send that uh, uh, link to you, and you will receive this email, this link right there. The moment you receive it, then you select uh, um, open, and then once that opens up, it opens up on the cloud, and then you are able to download it. So you can click at the top there, uh, so that you can actually download the folder and then download um, the, the software. So you simply click on download there. Okay. Now, while it is downloading, um, um, I'm, I'm just going to actually cancel this and then because I've already downloaded it and then show you um, show you exactly where it is because after it has been downloaded it will appear in your download folder so as soon as you see download there it is Mr. Kashiongwa that has been downloaded there so the moment it has been downloaded you will simply right click and extract all um, you can also use WinRare to extract this file, but if you prefer, uh, you can actually also do that. And then you can choose a location where you want it to be downloaded or extracted to. So you can click Browse and then select Desktop and then select Folder and then Extract there. The moment you see extraction has taken place, you see the folder has now appeared on your desktop. So that means now it is available for you on the desktop. Well, you can put it in your document. Uh, it's also advisable that you do that okay so now once we open this up you'll notice that there's two photos uh, this is the logo for the school and this is um, the photo of mr. Max uh, Kashiongwa who will be uh, this application is only designed specifically for him so it only he can make use of the application but now as it stands uh, Mr. Kashiongwa does not have Microsoft Access to run this application, so therefore he will need to download Access Runtime. So to do that, it's simple. You just simply go to your browser and you go to google.com and type in Access Runtime uh, 2016. And then once that link appears there, you, you simply click on download and that, that's the first thing that you will that will appear and then you will be on the Microsoft website you will see that it says there it is secure and you are on the Microsoft.com uh, website so you actually get and download the software okay so now before we can actually download we need to know the base of our system Okay, what is the base of our system? So basically, when you click on download, there are two options. You can either download a 64-bit version of Access Runtime, or you can download uh, a 86, which is a basically 32-bit uh, system based for uh, a computer. Okay, but it, for this tutorial, we are going to look at this computer. So how do you find out what is the base of your system? So you simply go to your Explorer, and then this computer right click on this computer and then click on properties once you have clicked on properties this menu will appear and then you will see system type then you'll see there it says 64-bit operating system okay so there you will know that this is a 64-bit sometimes it will say 32-bit or 86 so there it will be up to you to, to, to once you have made that choice or once you have seen the option of your computer or the, special, the specification of your computer, then you can actually choose which access runtime needs to be downloaded. So I'm going to click on that one and then click on next. And then it is going to start downloading. Okay, um, I've already downloaded this, so I'm just going to go ahead and go to downloads and find the file that has been completely downloaded because we are not gonna wait for this to finish downloading. Uh, so I'm going to go to downloads and then you'll see access runtime is available there. Okay, so 
uh, I'm just going to simply double click on that or you can right click and open and then click on yes and then it will extract and begin downloading I mean installing sorry okay so as soon as it starts installing okay I'm going to pause this video and return when the installation is complete okay it seems like the installation is about to finalize okay then when it is done uh, we simply we don't click continue uh, we just click on close because it's done installing uh, to continue online that is something else uh, if you want a video on that you can put a, a comment in the, in the comments and so that we can request for that tutorial on how to uh, utilize this online service okay click on close and then once you have clicked on close then you simply minimize all these windows and then go to the folder again which is on your desktop so now when you open it up you'll see now that the application is now having an icon this is now the application that has been used to that has been installed access runtime which we are now going to apply on this application that has been created for you so now when you click on lesson plan app okay then it opens up okay this option will come a potential concern has been identified blah 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 you do not concern yourself with this because I have not put in anything that will endanger your computer so this application has been uh, it's, it's 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 it will not cause any harm to your computer so click on open and then as soon as it opens up this is what you will see and then you click on your username so in this instance we are using um, Mr. Max Kashiongwa so you select Max um, and then put in your password I will not tell you what that password is then you click on login and at the moment that is Max uh, 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 application that has been installed okay so this is the end of this tutorial so now we know how to install access runtime and why we need to install access runtime is because we need to be able to run this application that was created by auto run or er auto run solutions uh, for teachers to to use to create their lesson plans okay so basically we are having daily plan daily lesson plans and weekly lesson plans that you can actually plan for your for your for your for your heads of department Okay, so this is the end of this video. Please subscribe and leave a comment if you want to see more about this uh, lesson plan app um, on, in the comments. Thank you very much.